God created us to work. Working has value and it gives us a sense of accomplishment. The choice about whether to be a full-time, stay-at-home mom or work outside of a home is one that has confronted women for centuries. In today's video, you will learn how to prayerfully discuss this topic in a realistic way so that you can make the right decision that is aligned with God's will for your marriage. Hi everyone, welcome to Love Marriage Channel. My name is Ola Falabi. I help singles and married couples build healthy relationships and not a lasting marriage God's way through the application of biblical principles and Christian values. If you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so. This will enable you to watch more Love and Marriage videos that will help strengthen your relationship. Also tap the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. The decision of whether you want to pursue a career or be a stay-at-home mom will impact your life, your marriage and your children. Therefore, it is important to discuss this topic. Some factors that would influence your decision are where you are financially as a couple, how God is leading you and the importance of using your education and potential in the workplace, as well as the desire to do something that is mentally and financially rewarding. Working outside of your home involves making sacrifices for your family out of love. However, you must prioritize your family and evaluate the quality and quantity of time you would like to spend with your children to ensure they are well nurtured and trained. In Titus chapter 2, the older women are instructed to teach the younger women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be wise and pure, to be good workers at home, to be kind and to yield to their husbands. Then no one will be able to criticize the teaching God gave us. So, as a career woman, it is important that your home is running smoothly. At different times in your marriage, the demand of a full-time job could impact how much time you have left to care for your family. You will need to consider what is most important and be flexible to adapt to the changing circumstances. You must understand that your self-worth and identity come from God and not from your job. This will help you to easily transition when the time comes. If you become a stay-at-home mom without being happy with the decision, you could feel resentful and unhappy, especially when you're able to combine working outside of a home with fulfilling your responsibilities as a wife and mother. This is not good for your emotional and mental well-being. If you decide to be a full-time stay-at-home mom, does your spouse have a job that will take care of both of you? Is he financially strong to shoulder all your responsibilities and those of your children? Is he willing to be the sole provider and will he do this joyfully? These are some of the questions that you need to discuss. If you're a stay-at-home mom, there are so many things that you can do that will bestow on you a sense of dignity and fulfillment while having the time to give love and attention to your children daily, from deepening your prayer life to sharing the love of Christ with your kids and learning different skills that will enable you to make a difference to your world. Let's look at the Proverbs 31 woman. I must confess that I've never tried to become the Mrs. Proverbs 31 woman because I can never meet up to a standard even if I try hard. So I will advise you not to try to become the totality of this woman of noble character. However, we can learn a lot from how she balanced her work outside of the home with caring and nurturing a family. Listen to this. She's happy to work with her own hands to make clothes with wool and linen. She brings special food from far away like a sheep that travels across the sea. She gets up while it is still night and she prepares food for her family. She also gives some to her female servants. She looks carefully at a field and she decides to buy it. She uses her own money to plant a vineyard. She is strong and she always works hard. She knows how to make money as she buys and sells things. Even at night, she is still working. She knows how to make cloth. She gives money to poor and helpless people. All her family have warm clothes to wear. She is not afraid when cold weather comes. She makes beautiful clothes to cover the beds. Her clothes are made with valuable linen and purple cloth. People in the city respect her husband. He meets with the other leaders at the city's gate. She uses linen to make clothes and she sells them. She makes belts to sell to the traders. She shows a strength 
and people respect her. She's not afraid of what will happen in the future. The Proverbs that one woman demonstrated that you could combine being a homemaker with utilizing your God-given gifts and talents to add value to your family financially. Don't give up your commitment to excellence or work ethics because you're a stay-at-home mom. Be creative and make use of your education and all the training that you've heard. In conclusion, by discussing this topic, you'll be able to agree the best decision that will enable you to have a rewarding career, a healthy and fulfilled marriage where your children are taught in the way of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.